demonstrated the uh, new dogfighter uh, system that we've developed. Uh, this is one of the uh, test aircraft we use, a multiplex fun jet. Uh, in the nose is installed the infrared transmitter and the LED to indicate to the camera when the cannons or laser guided missiles are being fired. Uh, we use the G940 from Logitech connected to the force fly for control. As the extra features that are nice to have when you're trying to set up an aircraft for dogfighting. Uh, here we've got full stick control with the, uh, the throttles. Uh, we also have uh, afterburners and uh, air brakes buttons on the uh, on the throttle, which uh, gives better control, allows you to muscle around through the air a little bit better. Uh, and then it also is, we've programmed the cannons to work off of the trigger button. And you can see the uh, LED on the nose indicating cannons are being fired, as well as the missile button on the thumb. So, the target aircraft, <coughs> the second uh, fun jet done up, has the uh, light packs on here, standard light pack, a light pack with the Omni 360 uh, sensor on it, and uh, the standard hit sensor up top mounted on the mast. Um, and to show uh, you know what happens when the uh, when the aircraft gets hit, so you get the light beacons uh, lighting up when you're when the aircraft's getting uh, hit. Um, it's fairly lo long range. Uh, show you a clip. Uh, it in action. Also have the uh, combat effects module, which is also installed on this aircraft, and I can plug it in here for a sec. And show what happens. Combat effects uh, connects in line with the servo channel of the plane, one of the control channels. Router, ailerons or even elevator if you wanted to. Uh, and then when the aircraft's being hit, I can show you here, the, uh, you've got your control on your ailerons. Uh, when, you, uh, when it's getting hit with the combat effects, there's a uh, shutter on the, uh, so it gets added to the uh, aileron signal. When you're configuring and you're setting it up, you have the option of setting the uh, amplitude and the speed of the effect. So if I uh, turn up the speed a little bit. Turn the speed down. The other option is the uh, amplitude of the, uh, of the effect. So tweak that a little bit. Lots of amplitude. A little bit of amplitude. Getting hit by a missile. So, this gives you the uh, ability to uh, feel when the aircraft is being hit without a secondary. Now, uh, there's also the uh, optional connection to the force fly, uh, which allows uh, you to feel the stick. The stick actually shakes when, uh, when you're being hit. Uh, it shakes left to right. When you're um, firing cannons or missiles, it actually shakes uh, front to back, so you can actually feel when you're firing. Uh, also demonstrate here the, light pack target beacon. <coughs> so the target beacon is uh, just a standalone module uh, that uh, when it gets hit it uh, indicates it's been hit using a giving it a flash of the light pack. So actually show it this way. Very bright, very easily seen at a long range uh, in the air. It can also be seen using standard definition cameras uh, in, in FPV. Um, 
And then uh, one of the interesting things about this uh, light pack is the fact that it's been outfitted with the countermeasures uh, gun, basically. So if it gets a missile strike, it flashes and, uh, and actually fires back at the, uh, at the chase plane. Or cannons. Now cannons, you just uh, single shots, no problem. But if you hold it down, it'll, it's going to shoot back. So single shots, no problem. You can see with this one here, bring this plane in. You show demonstrate it being shot. So you hit the missiles. Boom. Gets a second shot. So that's basically it for the dogfighter system. There's a bunch of features. Uh, you know, can't get get into all of it. Um, you can look through the product brief or the product manuals to see, you know, the how each one works and what you would need to put together a system that you would like uh, for your aircraft. Thank you very much.